Okay, in this video, uh, I guess I'll be talking about uh, the flu, the flu season that seems to be going on and on. It's winter here at the moment, and uh, I've just had the flu for the second time in uh, a month. And it really drains you, and um, it really gets me down. Uh, I've been feeling very miserable uh, this past past few days. I don't. I've been feeling really horrible, and I uh, don't know where it's come from. I think it, a lot of it is. The flu actually, your body is um, using all its resources to combat the virus that you have, and you're very weak. I feel very weak. I don't have energy to do anything. Um, so that could be a big part of it. Uh, yeah, just these. Also, I'd kind of say they were suicidal thoughts. Um, just everything is really dark, and uh, I don't, I would never do it, but it's just you still get these thoughts going through your head and, like everything's pointless, everything's a What's the point to life? Why is why do people even bother? Like you know, having these thoughts, and uh, I hate it. But um, I've been doing a lot of thinking over this past week, and a lot of it is about uh, finding happiness. But also, I've noticed a trend of just how many people are on medication to do with depression and anxiety. I think people are being over-prescribed. And a big part of... I'm only on... I don't like sharing personal information, really, but... Um, I'm on 20 milligrams of Lexapro, and that's it. I used to be, my last psychiatrist was trying to get me to be on Seroquel as well, and he tried to, kept upping the dosage of that, and every time I went to find solutions from him, he would just prescribe me more prescribe me more things and I thought why am I paying this much money just like it's like a psychiatrist is all they are is a certified drug dealer because that's what they make you they make you a fucking drug addict and um I mean, sometimes they help, but I think there's a huge part of it that's it's fake and worthless, and too many people have been prescribed medicines, and uh, I mean, you can have seasonal depression, that can be a big problem. For you. you can, it's been raining here constantly, this is the first bit of clear sky in a while, and uh, I feel a bit better just because it's blue sky, it's not completely miserable, just, I mean, looking at Frangipani tree, 
just it already makes me a bit happier feel a bit warm inside but the winter has just been it's been raining constantly just uh, miserable um, this is kind of a rambling video but whatever um, I just the point I'm trying to make is uh, the flu it can cause you to become depressed or if you are depressed become even more depressed because you're just uh, at a weakened state and your mind is a bit all over the place so rest is probably the best thing um, what else the over-prescribing of antidepressants. It does help in some cases, but I just thought I was been, I, I've been, I've seen psychiatrists for the last, since 2015 was the first time I saw one, and all I did was in the long run make things a hell of a lot worse for me so I kind of I guess I can take this as a victory saying that I I no longer need to go to them because I've kind of figured things out for myself I think that's a big part of any depression is knowing who you are as a person first and um, overcoming or knowing knowing what your mind the workings of your mind are because being confused is probably the worst thing but it's taken a long time <sighs> I wish I was a fish I don't even have to worry about all this shit. But this is how crazy our society is. Even giving antidepressants to dogs. I think we're becoming a medicated society. We need to go back to more simplistic things. If I said this to my grandfather, he would have gone. In my day, we didn't have time to be depressed. He maybe probably thinks I'm a fucking insane person, but I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, it's a, what I wanted to say with this video is you kind of have to. The way to solving your depression is um, finding out who you are, understanding your mind better, and uh, then then you can see things a bit clearer without being clouded by antidepressants because they do make you numb to a lot of things in the world. A lot of feelings so it's hard to have a straight mind when you're um, over prescribed everything under the sun and um, I've seen it time and time before with people I know but every time they go back to ask uh, why isn't this working uh, it's not working for me all they all that happens to them is they get prescribed more and more to make them stupid and uh, a zombie and that's not the, the way to go um, this past week I've been going through a lot of 
complete with Mac and Stevie Nicks stuff and um, she herself has gone through a lot of drug problems and she said Clonopin, which we feel uh, she was prescribed is even more deadlier than cocaine so um, if you want to read a good story about uh, triumph and overcoming huge odds and stuff do read Stevie Nicks's uh, just go watch an interview with her about it and she'll let you know she's an amazing person and I'm glad I found her story and uh, that's all I wanted to say so thank you for watching this rambling video